Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is your reading for Wednesday, July 10th, 2024, of course. What is it that is most needed to know? <laughs> and as always, my intention is for the uh, center card to be the theme and possibly uh, first card morning and last card afternoon and evening. there. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, maybe it's an early morning acupuncture treatment, or maybe you've woken up realizing that you're just done with something that you used to do that stole your time, money, energy, thoughts, what's paying rent in your head that needs to go. And if you can accomplish that, you're free from temptation. So that's the short message if you're short on time this morning. But now let's dive deeper into the meanings. I, first of all, I just, I love getting the devil card reversed. I just, that's the only way to get that card. <laughs> but then again, you know, you're, whatever we're working through is what we're working through. It's no big deal. It's, it's the human process. Um, okay, Ten of Swords in the upright position is an ending. It's, it can be a defeat. It can be a little bit of a crisis. It can be, of course, with all endings, we have some loss. It can be a betrayal. It's our card for being, you know, backstabbed. Uh, reminds me of that funny, funny quote. Uh, it, it, was, it would show this card, and then it was a little, you know, cloud bubble that says something about, yeah, just steal her chocolate. Go for it. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, so anyway, as our sweet uh, and amazingly wise uh, Lori over at the Way of Positive Change car uh, change calls this card as um, oh, and she does she has her card of the day. If you want to get just one card every day, where she goes really deeply into it, she does that on Facebook and Instagram every day. So check her out. I, but her in her YouTube channel, I've done a lot of live streams with her, and, and I just love it. She calls it the face plant card. <laughs> so I hope it's I hope it's acupuncture, and that's why you're face down on a table. Uh, and whatever it is, just know that the sun always comes up, the clouds always eventually lift, and you will see the truth. Now the swords to me are mental. They're, they're of the mental and communication realm. So maybe you're just done communicating with whomever this person is that steals your time, steals your energy, and has been getting away with it for a really long time. Or at least they've been taking a lot of it. You know, there's still two swords left here. Uh, then again, this could be, you know, you might wake up to a phishing type of an email, you know, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, uh, and, and, and you catch it. You see it. You wake up and it's like, oh, this is a little scary. What the heck is this about? But then when you start looking at it and like you click on the, the address, the email address, you realize oh, this doesn't really come from whatever, you know, institution they say they're coming from. Uh, and and you catch it in time. Uh, but then again, too, you know, I mean, this is a card, the Seven of Swords, our keywords here are thievery and getting away with something, making it off, you know, making it, yeah. Again, Lori calls this card Sneaky Pete. <laughs> so if there's a Sneaky Pete that tries to come in any time during the day, I think you'll catch it because maybe you've been through something like this in the past. Uh, and the reason I think that you would catch it would be because we have the devil card coming through reverse, which is all about detachment and breaking free and, and keeping your power. Or you've gone through it before and you've, you've reclaimed. It's like the power coming back to you because you, you, there's no reason to go through that again, right? Once you know the tricks. Um, but yeah, so also with the Seven of Swords, sometimes it's just deception. 
It doesn't always have to be somebody getting away with something of yours. It doesn't always have to be, uh, you know, somebody trying to steal or getting, you know, actually stealing from you. It can be just somebody uh, being very stealthy and somebody who is, um, you know, like, like I was saying before, trying to deceive you. But you're done with that. You're done with that and you're free. So, yeah. Now, other times I've gotten this card, it has been when I was uh, doing, you know, studying other things and a test was coming up. And um, if, you know, if you're, drawing, if you're doing daily cards and you keep getting the same one, for like a week, I remember way, way, way back in, back in the um, early 90s uh, when I was studying for some other types of testing, I, that had to do with like the physical body, you know, for personal training and stuff like that. Um, it actually, it was late late eighties, early nineties, somewhere. No, it was late eighties. I think it was like eight, actually eighty nine. But anywho, I I kept getting this card, and what what it what it turned out to be was that I had studied really well, but there were still a couple of things that were going to be on the test that might not have been in the curriculum in the book that we were studying in the manual, the manual and the books. So what I did, because I kept getting this dang card, is I went and tried to get information from other people who had already taken the test and, and asked them, are there doing questions come through that aren't in this materials? And, um, and they were like, yeah. And then there are some things in the materials that won't be on the test. So it, it was pretty tricky, right? So it made me study harder. <laughs> And I did pass. I did. In fact, I got a really high score. So, so it can be something like that. Like, so just something, some warning of something that's just not exactly right. Something's missing. And it can be because, like I said, the, you know, swords being the mental realm. It can be words, notes, things that you write with. You know, writing instruments of any type, computer, you know, keyboard or pens, things like that. Anything. And it could be just that you need, you need a little more than you thought if, if, with uh, note-taking if there is a test that's coming up or just that the test can be tricky. But you'll, you'll do fine with it. But you have to be prepared for power, maybe some power being a little uh, wonky. So, yeah. Anyway, let me know how it goes for you today. Okay. <laughs> Bye, you guys.